Hi, my name is Cody, and welcome to our Report Pundit onboarding video. We understand that as a Shopify merchant, you need to make sense of all the e-commerce data passing through your company. That is why we've worked with thousands of Shopify stores to design a reporting tool that works for any size or kind of organization. You can choose from over 100 pre-made templates or create custom reports using your own logic. We want you to have reports that fit perfectly with how you work best, not just some generic idea about how a report should look. Before you start using Report Pundit, let's go through some important features that will aid you on your reporting journey. Welcome to the home page. Here, you can quickly view total sales, order count, refund activity, and repeat customer metrics for the last 30 days. You can also create new reports from this screen, selecting either a pre-made or custom report. To make life easier, you can mark your favorite reports, which will then appear on the home page. A summary of your reporting activities within our app also appears on this screen. We've highlighted the most popular report integrations that connect to Report Pundit. However, we support more than 25 different apps in our integration section. Finally, here is a list of the most popular reports available from Report Pundit. When you visit our library, you'll find more than 100 pre-made templates organized into 14 different categories. We built these reports based on feedback from over 10,000 Shopify customers, just like yourself. You can open any report and start modifying it to suit your needs. Next, we're excited to share our powerful report designer page. Let's start off by selecting a date range of your choice. Your selected date range here will determine what data appears within your report or for manual data exports. By clicking the Add Fields button, you can easily add or remove fields based on your report preferences. Selected fields will appear on the left-hand side of the screen. You can also rearrange field columns here to your liking. The filter function lets you optionally limit record results based on your own custom conditions. Feel free to experiment with filters to get the exact records you need. Just like a typical spreadsheet, you can sort any of your fields by ascending or descending order. For advanced report settings, simply choose the formatting option. Because no two reports are often alike, you can access additional controls in the Field Columns submenu. Options include column freezing, sorting, renaming, and more. If you'd like to export reports, you've got multiple formats from which to choose. Click the ellipsis button to clone your report, share it, or delete the report if it's no longer needed. With our schedule option, you can automatically send reports via email, FTP, Google Drive, and BigQuery. In general, all of our pre-made reports include visual charts. For custom reports, visual charts are generated as you start building the report. If you can't see charts inside a report, simply switch to summary view within the formatting section. So, let's review data visualization features. There are five types of charts available. Line, bar, stacked bar, area, and stacked area charts. Feel free to try out the chart types and widget configurations to meet your needs. Switch back to table view for a deeper review of your Shopify data. All of your previously saved reports appear in the My Reports page. Here, you can choose to schedule, 
edit or add a report to your favorites list. In the schedule screen, you'll find upcoming report schedules as well as previous schedule history to keep track of your data. Upcoming schedules let you modify schedules as desired or to delete them if they're no longer needed. Special note, you can only modify the schedule output like email, Google Drive, etc. Report and schedule history displays those schedules that have been created where you can download reports or delete them from the Report Pundit system. Next, let's talk about integrations. Our integrations are what makes Report Pundit stand apart from the other Shopify reporting tools. We offer a multitude of integration categories. That means you can combine report data from your e-commerce platforms in minutes. And no worries, our team of experts are here to help with all of your integration requirements. In the settings page, you can access your Report Pundit account profile, data sync options, and report formatting options. Reauthorizing your Shopify account will help you unlock gift card and payment dispute data. Using the My Password option, you can add another security layer to limit which people can access your Report Pundit account. Configure FTP, Google Drive, and BigQuery settings based on how you'd like to receive scheduled reports. In recent sync history, you can verify the last time your Shopify records were synced with Report Pundit. The custom email option allows you to send scheduled reports to employees, accountants, and other recipients from your own reply to domain instead of sending from support at reportpundit.com. Finally, click the Help Docs link to dive into our comprehensive Report Pundit documentation. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching our onboarding video and for being a valued member of our Report Pundit service. Feel free to click the live chat button below anytime you need help. Our team of real, human experts are here to serve you. Take care.